if you ask me what's the most terrifying, difficult emotion that we experience as humans, yes. Yes. I would say joy. You would say that the most terrifying is joy? No question. Why? You know, I, I often ask parents, I say, uh, you know, I'll have 5,000 parents or something in the audience and I'll say, raise your hand if you've ever stood over your child while he or she was sleeping and thought to yourself, I love you like I didn't know it was possible. Yeah, yeah. And then in that split second, picture something horrific happening well, to you. What if something child. happened to you? Yes, yeah. How many of you have ever set up and said, wow, work's going good, good relationship with my partner. Yeah. Parents seem to be doing okay. Uh-huh. Holy crap. Something bad's What's gonna, gonna happen? happen? Yes. Right, so what is that? You know what that is? What is that? When we lose our tolerance for vulnerability. Lose our tolerance for vulnerability, yeah. Joy becomes foreboding. I'm not gonna feel you. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna soften into this moment of joy. Because, because I'm scared. I'm scared it's gonna be taken away. The other shoe's gonna drop. When we lose our tolerance yeah. to be vulnerable. Yes. Joy becomes foreboding. And so what we do in moments of joyfulness is we try to beat vulnerability to the punch. Yesterday, I'm on the plane. I'm yeah. getting ready to leave. The plane gets down the runway and has to come back because something's wrong. I was like, I knew it. I called Steve, I said, let me just tell you something. I know because I'm fixing to meet Oprah <laughs> that I'm gonna die. <laughs> and at my funeral, yeah. you better say, she was gonna be on Super Soul Sunday. Oh my goodness. And she's like, for voting joy, for voting joy. For voting joy. Right. I interviewed a man who told me my whole life, I never got too excited, too joyful about anything. I just kind of stayed right in the middle. That way, if things didn't work out, I wasn't devastated. And if they did work out, it was a pleasant surprise. In his 60s, he was in a car accident. His wife of 40 years was killed. Uh-huh. Wow. And he said, the second I realized that she was gone, the first thing I thought was, I should have leaned harder into those moments of joy. Because mm. that did not protect me from what I feel right now. We're trying to we're trying to dress rehearse tragedy so we yes. can beat vulnerability to the punch. Yes, 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 yes. So you want so you know what happens? This is what the joyful people do. This is what I learned from them. In those moments where like they're getting ready to come here or set, they're looking at their children or their partner or something great, they get that shudder too. But you know what they do? They don't say, Oh, there's that shudder of terror about feeling joyful. I'm gonna dress rehearse tragedy. They say, I'm gonna practice gratitude. So I just sat on that plane on the runway for 20 minutes going, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. And I think I was like BSing a little bit, I was faking, I am grateful, but gratitude is a practice. It is tangible, you can see it. Yeah. It's not an attitude of gratitude. Absolutely. It is a practice. And what I found is that when you actively practice gratitude, where you concentrate on not just thinking about it, but write things down, you go through the day looking for it. You There's go no through the, You go through the day looking for it. Isn't it amazing? It's like magic. It is. And you know what? I think we appreciate the little things. Yes. I think one of the things that happens in a culture of scarcity is we're all chasing the extraordinary and we forget. Like when I interviewed people who went through horrific things, I mean, I'm talking about the loss of children, genocide, violence, trauma. And I talked to them about what's the hardest loss. They never talked about the extraordinary things. They said, I miss the ordinary moments. I miss hearing the screen door slam and knowing my husband's home from work. Mm -hmm. I miss hearing my kids fighting in the backyard. I miss the way that my wife set the table. And those are the moments that are in front of all of us every day that we could stop and say, God, I'm grateful for this. Mm -hmm.